everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Always Be My Baby. I'm in the mood to laugh. I think this is going to be a funny film. It's on Netflix, so it's free. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to help you decide if you want to watch it. But I did see the previews a little bit because Netflix just shows you everything. You don't have a choice, but it does look funny. So it's about two childhood friends who are like 15 years you know, estranged, I guess you'd say, and then they come back in contact, and I think they seem like they fall in love or something like that. At least they start a connection again. Um, they might have been boyfriend girlfriend earlier, and then again, or friends or something like that. But she seems like she's very popular, um, celebrity rich, and um, he seems like he's working for his dad. That's the sense I got from the trailer. Um, who are the he and she I'm referring to? Ali Wong and uh, Randall Park. So they're the two main characters in this one. Ooh, Keanu Reeves is in this. And Daniel Day Kim. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like him, too. Um, so I got a little piece of popcorn. And, you know, it looks like there's other people in it. I don't know. So I'll get into it a little bit here. It's an hour and 42 minutes long. I'll catch you back up and tell you really what the plot's about. And then ultimately tell you if it's worth watching or not. So stick around. You'll always be my maybe. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of You'll Always Be My Maybe. Sorry, no check-ins. I don't think it was needed. Uh, the synopsis is pretty close to what we thought it was going to be. Um, Randall Park and Ali Wong are two main characters who, they start off showing their childhood and how they grew up together as being best friends, kind of got together um, at one point and became more than friends, but then uh, they actually uh, separate and go their separate ways for 15 years. She becomes a chef, a very a celebrity chef, and he continues to stay at home and work for his dad, uh, heating and air conditioning business. Um, <clears throat> and then their paths cross again. They're both in different relationships at this point, 16 years, 15 years apart, whatever it is, but uh, um, she has to come back to San Francisco, that's where this all takes place, to open a restaurant. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. And so they meet. And, um, of course, then, uh, you know, that's when they, they uh, you know, hey, start getting, hanging out together and one thing leads to another, whatever. And then it's all, are they going to, are they going to um, get back together or what's going to happen? So that's really what it's about. I mean, you've seen things like that, the, the ups and downs. And, you know, when you think it's going to happen, something happens that makes it go the other way. All that kind of stuff. Um, you know. A very typical movie, but uh, I, it, I did laugh out loud right from the opening scene. Um, I was laughing. Not the yeah, the opening scene. I was I laughed out loud, and there was a lot of times throughout this movie that I I had a nice giggle. Um, so because of that, I thought it was it's definitely worth watching if you like uh, uh, Randall Park. He was hilarious. I thought Ali Wong did a good job, um, and really that was all that was. It. Oh, Keanu Reeves is also in it. Um, as I mentioned before, but I didn't like that whole part. <coughs> I didn't laugh at that part. I knew it was meant to be funny. Um, there might have been maybe a little thing that I smirked at, but other than that, I didn't. That was the one thing that I that I didn't laugh at, and I didn't find funny. I love Keanu Reeves, and uh, you know maybe it's because of the character they had him play. I don't know, and I don't want to go into it too much detail, but that was the piece that. That didn't do it for me. Otherwise, it's definitely worth watching. Like I said, a lot of laugh out loud moments, um, and, uh, and that's really it. There, there's nothing else to tell. I don't need to go into greater detail. You understand what the plot's all about, and if you like to laugh, check it out. Um, he's one other piece. He's in a band, and I thought the band was kind of cool. Um, I liked. Uh, he's pretty talented. On, on how he uh, how he is in the band, and again, I'll leave that all for you to find out. Um, that's it. There's no other characters in it that you gotta think about or anything else to meet. Check it out. Don't worry about the plot. You know, just worry about the the comedy, and I think you'll enjoy it. And then, then check out the Count Reeves part if you do watch it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on. I want to hear your thoughts on the movie, but specifically maybe about that part. What did you think? Did you did you laugh? Did you think it, find it funny? Um, or maybe they could have went in a different direction. Eh, I don't know. Well, that's it. Check it out. Let me know what your thoughts. Hit the thumbs up button. 
And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and tune in next time to Kimmel's Irish Pub.